Hello, I'm Kyle Poling, field agronomist with Pioneer Hybrid in West Central Ohio. Today I'm scouting a field of corn that was planted just over three weeks ago. Since planting, the corn has experienced growing conditions that have been unseasonably cool and wet. Currently, the crop is at the V2 growth stage. This is a critical time in a corn plant's life as it's transitioning from the primary root system comprised of the radical root and seminal roots over to the nodal roots or the permanent root system which will provide the bulk of the water and nutrients throughout a plant's life. Though the growing conditions have been less than ideal for the corn crop, it's been extremely suitable for seedling diseases, particularly Pythium, which is a water mold. Visual evidence of Pythium can be seen above ground. Growers are often tipped off of disease infection as uniform fields of corn become erratic in plant height and growth stage, often between the V1 and V3 stages. Individual plants can express signs of Pythium. Examples of what to look for include plants whose top leaf growing out of the whorl is wilted or dead, the whole plant is wilting, the whorl is tightly wrapped, or where there are gaps in the row where plants are missing as a result of damping off. Seedling diseases infect roots causing them to become brown in color, forming necrotic areas, or resulting in total collapse of the root itself. Plants that are missing the radical, seminal roots, or have very few fine root hairs can cause seedling growth to be very sluggish. The mesocotyl is an important part of a seedling plant. The, this is the underground stem that connects the seed and primary root system to the plant at the point where the nodal roots are forming. If the mesocotyl becomes diseased, it can be extremely difficult for a plant to smoothly and successfully transition to the nodal root system, as the mesocotyl serves as the pipeline to deliver water and nutrients from the seed and primary roots to the plant until the permanent root system is fully formed. There are several factors that may influence the ability of a plant infected with Pythium to recover. Those include growth stage at the time of infection, growing conditions following infection, and then plant vigor or early growth characteristics of the hybrid. Plants that are infected at the V1 growth stage or earlier will have a tougher time developing the nodal roots than those plants at the V2, V3, or later growth stages. Ideal growing conditions following infection, including warm, sunny days and ample soil moisture will more successfully recover. And then lastly, those hybrids with strong early growth and vigor will more successfully and rapidly be able to outgrow the disease. I hope you find this video helpful and we'll see you down the road. Agronomy Video Podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.